Ryan Haydari was only 22 days old when he died. He bled to death after a circumcision gone horribly wrong. Overwhelmed by grief and attention, his parents released a statement. The loss of Ryan, our only child, has made us realize that we can't possess anything, even our hopes, our dreams. He was born on January 3rd, 2013, was circumcised、uh, January 17th, and within several hours he lost 35 to 40 percent of his blood volume. Their lawyer says they wanted to give their son a voice. Their complaint ended up before the College of Physicians and Surgeons. A decision was rendered in secret, and the parents appealed. There's been no punitive action against the pediatrician who circumcised Ryan in the office. When his parents noticed bleeding, they were told to take him to the emergency room at North York General. The pediatrician called to notify the hospital. There was no indication that the college had actually investigated what had transpired during that telephone call. The doctor at this hospital was cautioned for failing to recognize the seriousness of the baby's condition. Both doctors' identities are protected under legislation. Meanwhile, the Canadian Pediatric Society continues to recommend against routine circumcision. As much as it's not supposed to harm someone, I think it's just uselessly putting a baby through suffering. Hussein El Shahabi circumcised his son. Coming from、uh, our culture, we do hear from our parents and our. Uh, shapes that、uh, it's important. As for Ryan's parents, they feel lost and no closer to understanding what led to their son's death. We don't feel like we got any proper answer as to why Ryan died from bleeding. We are so shocked that we will not have an answer to bring us some peace for our broken hearts, to prevent other cruel deaths like Ryan's, and to ensure that doctors take proper care of their patients. Lamanicola, Global News.